Hey guys, let's take a look at what's called elimination. We're going to do three ways of solving systems of equations, they call them this year. One's substitution, one's graphing, and one is elimination. Now, <clears throat> a system of equation just means a couple of equations that have a couple of variables each. At some point in the future, we'll be doing like three equations all at once, and all three of the equations will have x's, y's, and z's. That'll be fun. I mean, you might not like it at first, but after a few weeks of doing it, you wanna, you'll want to bang your head against the wall. But anyway, let's, let's do a substitution. I'm not going to actually do this, but you tell me the method. Think about this. I'll just pause it for a second or just at least look at it. What's the method of using this, uh, doing this system of equations to solve it for substitution? What do you do? You'll take the top one, right? And you'll do what? The 2x goes over, right? So your new equation turns out to be y is equal to 11 minus 2x, right? Or negative 2x plus 11 or whatever. You take that and stick it into the second one, solve for, you know, put that as in your y, boom, blah, 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 and there you go. Okay, so look at this one, though. How would you like to solve this by substitution? Look at that. Does that look fun? Like, quickly, go back to this one. This is easier because you can, you've got an equation that has just a 1y in there, right? Or a 1x or whatever. This one, um, we ain't got any 1y or 1x, okay? I mean, uh, what are you getting, like on this one? Oh, it's solved by substitution. I'll get the uh, y over here. So I get 3x is equal to 23 minus 2y. Oh, I'll divide by 3. Well, this is going to be fun. This is like having your toenails pulled out by pliers. Look at this. x is equal to Hey, 23 thirds minus 2 thirds y. Oh, I can't wait to stick that back into there and multiply that through. Okay, forget it. Substitution to that, as Shakespeare said. I think at the end of Jane Eyre, which he wrote. Anyway, don't quote me on that. Okay, forget substitution. This ain't going to work. Okay, so we're going to use elimination instead. Now, here's the deal with elimination. Elimination works best, and I would, I would choose it. Anytime you have two equations where the coefficients are all something other than one. If you have something that's a one coefficient like this one, use substitution probably. Maybe not. I don't know. You might not get to like elimination. Um, if it is like this, I would use definitely elimination to solve this one. And here's how you do it. Now, you, if you want to pause and copy the equation, go ahead and do it. Here's what you will want to do. Your job... You're going you're gonna to eventually just add right straight down like you're adding, oh, you know, 37 plus 15, you know, oh, this, and, you, you know, you add that, you know. You're going to do exactly the same thing here with these, except for different, which means I guess it's not exactly the same thing. Anyhow, what you want to do is you want to get either, you want to get the number of y's the same, or you want to get the number of x's the same. Now, when I was your age, back in the Middle Ages, um, they, I got confused about whether, now, this had to be a negative, and that's a positive, and this had to be both the same set to that. If you have numbers, <clears throat> and one of them is a negative 10 on top, and the one's bottom, one's a 10, or let's say you have, like, x's, like, oh, 8x here, and then 8x there, that's fine. You might have negative 8x and negative, don't worry about it. Just get them to the same number. Don't worry about the sign of them. Just multiply this the way I teach you how to do it here, just so the numbers are the same. Uh, let's just pretend we want to get we want to get the number of x's the same. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and go 3x is not the same as negative 2x, but they both go into 6x, right? If they were both 6x, we'd be in good shape because we could add these down. I'll show you what to do. So we're going to create a situation where both of these are sixes. Of course, we could also do both of these as sixes if you wanted to. It doesn't matter which one you do. There's no you know, unless you see that one of them is really much easier than the other one, then do that one. But let's just take care of the x's. All right, so to get this to 6x, or in other words, to get this as a 6, I just multiply by 2. But it's an equation, so I've got to do the entire thing, multiply by 2. Not just, the, I can't just, oh, I'm going to turn this into 6x. No, you can't do that. All right, the second one, that's a 2x, forget the negative. Well, I'm going to turn that into a 6x by multiplying the entire thing by 3. That good? Okay. Once we do that, let's take a look at what happens. All right. Let's go straight across here. You can, you know, you know how to distribute. 2 times 3x 
6x. 2 times 2y, 4y. And don't forget to do the number. That's probably the number one problem that gets a uh, mistake that gets made. 2 times 23, uh, almost put a plus. That should be an equals. Okay, 2 times 23 is 46. Okay, done. Let's go to this one. 3 times negative 2x, negative 6x. 3 times 3y, 9y. 3 times 2, 6. Okay. Now we're going to treat this just like an addition problem or a subtraction problem, like one of these. All right. Now my question is to you, look at those x's. We need to get rid of those x's. Now if you look at this and you say, oh, we're going to subtract, that won't work. Because 6x minus, if you were to go like this and go, oh, minus all this, then 6 minus negative 6 is the same thing as 6 plus 6. So that won't give you any, that would be 12x. So we don't want to subtract. We are going to add. Because 6x plus negative 6x is 0x. All right? And since we add, we add all the way across. We add this column. We add that column. And then we add this column. So 4y plus 9y is 13y. 46 plus 6 is 52. And they almost always uh, make these answers integers so they're nice and even for you. So if you're not sure how many times 13 goes into 52, you should know. You should be able to figure that out. But you can always use a calculator if you feel like you need to. So that is going to give you y is equal to 4. And then once you get y is equal to 4, you can go into any of these equations and, you know, figure out what x is. Let's just go to this bottom one here. You don't even need to mess with the 3. Just go with the original equation. It's probably easier. We have negative 2x plus 3y. Well, y is 4, so 3y is 12 equals 2. So negative 2x is equal to 2 minus 12, or negative 10. And then x is equal to negative 10 divided by negative 2, which is 5. And there we go. We've just used elimination to solve. Boom. All right, let's try another one. Is that only one of them? Okay. I think that should do it. Just really quickly, again, you don't care. Let me, let me do a really quick, real, real quick example before we go into the next one. Forget this right here. Let's just say you had 8x... Um, I don't know, minus 3y equals uh, 19, and then you had 6x plus 5y equals 10, or something like that. What you could do is you could say, okay, I'm going to make these y's both 15's. So I'm going to multiply this by 5 and that by 3. That would give me negative 15y, it would be 15y, then I could add those together. Or you could say, what do 8 and 6 both go into? 24. So 8, I'm going to multiply by 3 to get me 24x. Then I'm going to multiply this by 4 to get me 24x. Okay. At that point, you would say that's going to be 24x. 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y. 3 times 19 is 57. Then you go 4 times 6x is 24x. 4 times 5y is 20y. And then 4 times 10 is 40. Now look at this. Before, we did one where we just added up that. Remember, remember we added the 6x and the negative 6x down and got 0x, which is just what we wanted. This one, since you have a 24x and another 24x, the same sign, if you add those, you get 48x. It doesn't help you. So you're going to subtract the entire thing. So make sure you subtract that. Then you have negative 9y minus 20y is negative 29y, and then 57 minus 40 is 17, and you do whatever. Okay. So anyway, all right, try the practice problem. Go ahead and uh, give that a whirl. Pause it and see how you do. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be too terribly bad. Um, you can either make the x's into 12, or you can make the you know what? Let's make the y's into 12. I mean, you might have done this differently. And that's okay if you did. You know, I, I have a feeling that probably you guys did the x's, didn't you? Let's do this then. Let's go ahead and multiply by 3 here to get make that a 12x. We'll multiply by 4 here to make that also a somewhat 12x. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our new equation. 3 times all this jazz. 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 3y is 9y. 3 times 17 is 51. Good. 
Five, uh, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12x. 4 times 4 is 16y. And 4 times 6 is 24. Okay. All right. Let's go right down. Well, we're going to add, right? We can't, you know, if you and go ahead, if you want to put parentheses to kind of remind yourself you're doing something to all three of those terms, go ahead and do that. But we can't subtract this, right? Because 12 minus negative 12 is the same thing as 12 plus 12. We don't want 24x. We want 0x. So we're going to add 12x to negative 12x. We're going to add. So we add that, gone. 9y plus 16y, 25y. 51 plus 24, 75. And you notice this is gonna be a nice even answer, right? So y is three. Once you get y is three, go back and do any either one of these equations. I'd use the top one, looks easier to me. Um, let's take this one and move it on down. Well, 4x is gonna be 4x. 3 times y, if y is 3, then 3 times y is 9, and that will be 17. So 4x is going to be 17 minus 9, which makes it x is going to be 2. Zoink, there you go. Okay, that's all there is to it. All right, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.